So between the blisteringly fast TTK in Warzone 2, as well as the rat-like freaks that like to hide in corners, you might find yourself dying an awful lot in this game. And if you die in Warzone 2, that means that you're not winning. And if you're not winning, that means that you're smashing holes in your monitor. Now in this Warzone 2 tips and tricks video, I want to show you the best tips for how you can stop dying so much and eventually go on to get a hell of a lot more wins. Now before we go too far into the video, I do just want to remind you guys that I'm currently engaged in a ridiculous slap bet with my brother-in-law, whereby I have to get 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year or else he's going to slap me hard in my face If you could just spare that half a second to smack that subscribe button me and my face will be eternally grateful And in return I promise to give you the best warzone 2 tips and tricks videos as well as uploading the result of the slap bet on New Year's Day But with that out of the way, let's get on with the rest of the video Now the first thing I'm going to talk about and arguably the most important thing that you can do in warzone 2 to stop dying is to get more information There are hundreds upon hundreds of ways in which you can gain information about your enemies and the way that the map is flowing in Warzone 2, but I want to show you some of the easiest and most useful ones. The first thing that you need to know is that you'll be able to see enemy tracers from around the map. Literally, if you're flying in, you can see these tracers absolutely everywhere. Now, at first, I just thought that they were a cool sort of cinematic in the background thing. However, upon further investigation, it actually turns out that these tracers are genuine players having genuine gunfights. This means at any given point, Point, if you have some high ground and you have that advantage, you can see literally so many teams battling it out during a game of Warzone. And what this allows you to do is position yourself so that you will always have the advantage because you will always have that extra information and know where teams are. Similarly, if you see on your minimap that there is a precision airstrike or more obviously a mortar strike, you get to know two bits of information. You get to know which direction that the mortar strike is coming from and also pretty much the exact location that it has been fired from. Now, this will let you know two things. You will know exactly where the team that was firing it was, as well as where they perceived that another enemy team was. So if you can see on your minimap that you're in the middle of these two events happening, you'll be able to know to steer clear of that path, and you'll be able to flank either round to the left or to the right, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. But the key here is getting that information in the first place and being aware of these things and these bits of information that you're given on the minimap. Now, secondly, there are a few different field upgrades that you're going to be able to use on your person that are going to give you so much information. In the clip here, you you can see I've just had a fight inside this building and then I've picked up a DDoS. Now I use this DDoS to just scan the area for me. If I get a hit marker and I get that XP pop up on my screen then I know that there is someone there. I can then use that information to listen more attentively and see where that enemy is and as you can see here I managed to get the drop on this enemy. As well as the DDoS there are recon drones, bomb drones and portable UAVs all of which are going to give you vital information for how you can push into the next sector or hold your ground. I cannot overstate this but information is key to winning these games and staying alive. If you know exactly where these enemies are and you have as much information as possible the likelihood of you getting snuck up on and put into an early gulag drops dramatically. Now next I want to talk to you guys about the circle because the circle in Warzone 2 can very well be your friend. Put it this way, say you drop in the center of the map, you drop right in the center of the circle that means that by definition you are 100% surrounded on every single side. For all you know there could be an enemy literally around every single corner. And this is why I say play the circle. If you're always playing the circle and you're following that circle in, as, as long as you're not letting that circle pressure you too much, what this means is everywhere behind you is already clear by default. You do not have to worry about people coming behind you because A, you have already been there and B, there's a massive cloud of gas choking every motherfucker that possibly could be there. So if there is someone trying to sneak up on you, that means they must have had like four or five durable gas masks and if and at a certain point they're just going to start coughing their guts up by following the circle in you are eliminating at least say 40% of the variables. You only have to worry about what's in front of you and if you're playing in a squad or a trio this means that you can have every angle covered. The back is being covered by the gas, you can have one guy on the right, one guy on the left flank and you can be facing forward. This means that the likelihood of you getting snuck up on is cut down by such a huge margin that there is such a small chance that you'll be taken by surprise. If you couple this with the other tips about getting more information you should be able to work out where the majority of other teams are at any given moment. 
Forget about gun metas, forget about movement metas. The real meta in any battle royale will always be this information. But anyway, that about sums it up for today's video on how to stop dying in Warzone 2. For more Warzone 2 tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be bringing them pretty much every single day. Now, for those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I love to see you who sticks around until the end. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. Would you rather fight one Rottweiler or 200 ducks? Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Average Joel. Peace.